<sighs> Part five, I didn't use a, a person that we all know. I mean, in some of these episodes, we used AR Ab, we used academics, we used John Gotti, we used Jeffrey Dahmer, we used a bunch of people. Uh, we used Sammy the Bull. <laughs> we used a bunch of people that you, you've heard about or you can identify with, right? Or you know their stories to further create these lanes and deviate what snitching is, okay? So for this one, number six, and this is my final one, we're going to get back to using somebody. I'm going to use WAC 100. For anybody that's watching this doesn't know who WAC 100 is, um, the first time I've ever seen WAC 100 heard his name was um, he had a physical altercation with Stitches. Stitches, the, I think he used to be a rap. I don't know if he still raps. But Stitches is somebody that was going back and forth with the game on social media. They were threatening each other, whatever. Stitches pulls up to a club. That game was at. Um, Stitches waiting for him outside. Game, his entourage come outside. Stitches walks up on him. WAC 100, as uh, the game's manager, steps up, knocks Stitches out, just drops him. Fast forward, um, he's made a name for himself. He's made a name for himself. Uh, he currently manages artists such as Blueface. Blueface is a pretty relevant artist out there, right? Um, but another piece of WAC 100's reputation or what people know him for is publicly speaking a lot, okay? <laughs> <laughs> to say the least, I guess that was as nice as way I was going to be able to fucking quantify it. And just publicly speaking, some people would be like, yo, run it this fuck about. But nah, I fuck with Wack. He's a very, very entertaining guy. Um, when I say I fuck with Wack, I mean I'm entertained by him. I don't know him personally. I don't align with some of his character traits. Um, but that doesn't matter. He's him and I'm me. Not everybody is meant to align. Um, I'm just talking about from a pure entertainment standpoint. I could click on a lot of his his interviews or a lot of his shit talking on Clubhouse and just listen to him talk shit and just entertain, be entertained just to pass time. I'm in a car driving somewhere. I could listen to WAC 100 on, on Clubhouse, just talk shit. <laughs> All right. But one thing that you hear WAC 100 do a lot is speak on criminal activity, people involved in criminal investigations people that may have done done things um or or possibly have open cases if if a uh, takeoff gets killed you can catch WAC 100 on Clubhouse breaking down the situation just like anybody oh, I think this is going to happen oh, I think that's going to happen blah, blah, blah. he speaks on a lot of criminal activity a lot okay now the reason why I'm giving WAC 100 or I'm using him as an example to create a different lane than the ones we discussed so far in this whole snitching series is because for me, this is the final one that I feel like people get misconstrued. I'm not saying I agree with it or I disagree with it. Actually, street people should never agree with it. The lane and the category that I'm creating using the example of WAC 100 is purely put and defined for me as breaking the code because to my knowledge WAC 100 is a street nigga if you transition your life to being a law-abiding citizen then that's just what it is put down your flag if you choose whatever the case may be you just can't do that shit in the middle of getting arrested or being on trial or being interrogated in a fucking box with a bunch of detectives okay you can't do it conveniently okay that's some fucking snitching shit but anyway i think the first time that he was classified as breaking the code was with 6 9 For WAC 100 to be classified as a street nigga, him working with 6 9 people felt like that was a violation. People felt that that was breaking the code, the street code, okay? That is this category. And we can go right back to the example of Clubhouse. If WAC 100 is still, to this day, a street nigga, right? He's a blood or a damu, and he's living by gang and street codes and ethics and while doing so he's on clubhouse talking about crimes is he snitching is he is he under arrest is he talking to law enforcement no once again he's not classified as a snitch but he's breaking the code if you're a street nigga and you on these cameras or these interviews talking about street activity you're breaking the code Okay, that's a violation of street ethics. That's the category. So that's going to wrap it up from part one all the way through six. 
The only example I gave of snitching was in part one. The 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 clear example of like let's say Sammy the Bull, along with the definition of what a snitch is and what a snitch does. Okay, we've been through a law-abiding citizen. We've been through civil duty. We've been through being a tattletale. We've been through incriminating or self-incrimination or incrimination to others. And we've been through breaking the code. Those five categories oftentimes are mixed into snitching. That's how we got here to the six parts, okay? Do not classify these five things as a snitch. And if you do that, then you're just being lazy or you're uneducated or you don't have the type of background or you don't understand or you're just one of these social media people and this new era that just throws the word around because you can get away with it over a keyboard. It's just call people snitches, snitch, 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 snitch. And um, that's probably what I've been feeling for years. And now that I'm doing a podcast, those are my categories and I just shared it with y'all. So I uh, hope that y'all enjoyed that little mini six part series right there of stop snitching and breaking down all those categories and those examples and with those people that were involved in certain circumstances and what I feel like they really did or what they are doing. So go ahead, share this video, share the whole series, like the videos, drop your comments, hit me on Twitter, hit me on Instagram, ITSARP on both the gram and Twitter. Let me know y'all feedback. So I appreciate y'all rocking with me through this one. Let's continue on with episode nine though.